Hello and welcome to my Williams RTG career mode Here today for the start of the new season for season 4 In the background you can see the calendar for this season So we're going to start in Imola, the Monaco, Canada, Silverstone, Spa, Monza, Japan, Mexico, Brazil and Australia So from last season we've dropped Portimao and Singapore Singapore because it's been one of my favourite tracks but the last couple of seasons the races there have been very dull so to replace them we're going to Suzuka for the first time and to Australia as well so you see here we're just doing our helmet for this season going with the red white and blue kind of similar to George's but obviously at the end of last season Lewis Hamilton announced his retirement so there may be some make some changes in the driver transfers don't know I mean I, I feel like George shouldn't be our teammate this season but we'll wait to see it's with the third fastest but anyway let's see he's still here how is he still here who's replaced Lewis Hamilton then at Mercedes everything looks to be the same and it's, it's Nicholas Latifi Lord Latifi who hasn't even been in this career mode because we replaced him at Williams somehow found himself at Mercedes we've got the boring stuff out the way let's get into the race Imola differs from most other Formula 1 circuits as it's driven anti-clockwise let's hope no one forgets that today the exit from turn 18 will probably be the setup for many of today's overtakes leading as it does into the longest straight of the circuit and its only DRS zone here's what today's grid rundown looks like Sergio Perez will lead us away from pole position and it's Valtteri Bottas that completes the front row. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Latifi, Norris, Pierre Gasly and Leclerc, Sainz, Verstappen, Sonoda and George Russell, Brown, Ricardo, Sebastian Vettel and Stroll, Ocon, Giovinazzi, Mick Schumacher, and Christian Lungard, Joe and Nikita Mazepin and now it's time to head down to the track. So Sergio Perez kicks off his title defence with a pole position here in Imola. We're going to be doing a two stop but as you can see on the weather indicator there is a high chance of rain in the dying laps of the Grand Prix so we'll see if that comes or not but P10 and P11 for us are not too bad but it's time to kick off season four. As the lights go out and we're running away for the first time here in season four. And everyone gets away where we're looking to head to the inside, try and gain a few places. We send it down the inside. We've got the Alpha Tauri and George Russell as well. We're up two places as it's Paris and Lee's from the two Mercedes. Now we find ourselves behind the two Ferraris headed by Charles Leclerc as Perez starts to pull out a small gap into the two Mercedes at the end of the lap though was eyeing up a chance on Carlos Sainz but he ran a little bit wide and Daniel Ricciardo you don't need to give him a chance pulls out alongside us now it's a drag race into the first chicane the Tamburano chicane I think it is but we're going to defer around the outside and we stay ahead of the Australian who for the first time this season we've hit him Ricardo's been spun round we've spun him round and I didn't mean to do that there's debris I honestly I wasn't even looking I didn't see him we went wide he gets an excellent launch Sends up the inside, we did squeeze in, but I didn't even know he was there until I turned into the corner and he clipped me. And I, no, I should have given him more space. That is my fault. I will admit that. But he's coming to pits then. 
and going near front wing and also Lance Stroll as well so he must have got caught up in the incident as well right, so he's skipping on the hotel lap 4 and we've gone a little bit wide and Vettel now sees his chance I'm surprised he's at, and still going to be honest everyone else around him he's has retired is down the inside we've done it again Vettel spun we've spun him again the inside this time though he's lost out to George Russell our teammate but he has got away with some damage and that time I was getting really frustrated because I didn't really have any pace but I was making so many mistakes and I was just annoyed at how many mistakes I was making so at that point it was frustration but he wasn't really alongside me at any point there but now on to lap 7 George gets us down the inside there's no point fighting him he is quite clearly the, the quicker Williams and I feel like he's been robbed of a Mercedes seat I can't believe it's Lord Latifi he's bagged himself the Mercedes seat after not even doing a race in this career mode but into the pits we come lap 13 not, not really happened after that George was pulling away and we were just managing the gap behind and we're going to go into the mediums and hopefully they can take us to if it does rain but um, Jeff wanted to go into the hards and actually bought us I think it was pitted for the hards and as here then on lap 18 out of the race is Esteban Ocon If you skip on to lap 20 now and the gap was saying about around 5 seconds to Yuki Tsunoda but as the laps went on he did slowly start to eat into my lead that gap that I had on him is now on lap 23 you can see there is the rain A new strategy is available on the MFD I can't believe Jeff Jeff there, he literally, as I came out of the final corner, told me to pick for the inters, so that's exactly what we're going to do, and this might actually allow us to gain some time here, if we come out on lap 25, but we get held up by Christian Lungard, as it is too wet for the, for the dry tyres now, here is Yuki Tsunoda making his way out of the pits, has Lungard cost us, or have we just stayed ahead? Out of the pits comes Sonoda, you can see us in the background, Sonoda gets up to speed and we will come out side by side, have we done it? Yes we have, only just though, as now, as we make a mistake and go wide and the chicane I was struggling, that was the chicane I was struggling at the most, and now Yuki Sonoda trying to have a little look on us, but it's just a little bit too far back to do anything there but one lap later on to lap 27 we do it again and this time Yuki Tsunoda is a long long lot more alongside us and actually he does get the position and that's so annoying because it's for P10 it's for a point and he's knocked us out of the top 10 and we're back to where we started this race in P11 but bow down to this man Nicholas Latifi Lord Latifi is on his F1 return for Mercedes he comes home to win his first ever Formula 1 victory and it's going to be Lando Norris who comes home for P2 Max Verstappen rounds out the podium Gasly fourth Foundry Bot has been outdone by his and new teammate. Starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations. A real team victory today. Everybody played their part. Congratulations then to Mercedes, your race winners today. Well, what a race that was, a bit, bit dull on my part. Just kind of spent most of it on our own, especially when Sonoda got past us. But Nicholas Latifi 
the most unlikely driver you would have thought to get the Mercedes seat. Hasn't been in his career mode because we replaced him, but fair play wins on his F1 return. Hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you looking forward to the rest of the season. We head to Monaco next for round two of the championship. Hopefully we can get some points on the board, but until then, goodbye.